Romans chapter 8, verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shahamashiach, our Lord. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Wahashem Yahweh Shai, Wahashem Rakakodash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops with great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth. According to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The God some people here for bed. Then we're going to catch some hell. The scriptures tell us through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. See, now we need to be praying for more faith. The scriptures already told us that the devil is going to come in with great wrath, knowing that he only got a short time to rule. See, so the devil know that he only got a short time to rule. Are you going to turn your back on the Lord? Things are getting rough. Your answer should be hell to the no. No! The scriptures tell us to fight that good fight of faith. Lay hold. So we're going to have to fight for eternal life, man. Shamrak, um, Shamrak, um, Meshach, and the Bendigo, Daniel, and the lion's den. So for my soul, man. They had to fight, man. That faith, man. They had to fight that good fight of faith, man. To lay hold on eternal life. Now, what, now what the scriptures say? Because we can getting ready to go through some things. Sure enough, right? This is Romans chapter 8, verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Now, we're getting ready to catch hell. This devil is going to try to get us to denounce our power. As he, he ain't nothing new up under the sun, man. All these different heathen nations always try to get us to denounce our power. Now, we got examples. Remember the things that are written the fourth time were written for our learning? That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. We got examples according to the Bible. Of our forefathers having faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You look even in that darkest hour. See, that, that's fastly approaching, man. Our darkest hour is fastly approaching, man. And the scripture says, Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? How do we show the Lord that we love him? By rehearsing the righteous lacks, the righteous laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, man. Look, look, they do it in troubling times, man. You know? Pretty much the Bible really, really outlaw, really, if you, if you really think about it. You see? Because ain't nobody practicing the customs and ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Ain't nobody practicing the ways of the Bible. It's, it's heathenistic customs being practiced throughout the four corners of the earth right about now. Not the Bible. We're, we're the only ones starting off with the head apostles. The elders of great millstone and the men on down the whole for life. We're the only ones that's rehearsing the righteous acts of the Bible to the best of our ability. The whole world ain't doing it, man. These heathens ain't doing it. Two thirds ain't doing it. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation? Us catching the law a whole lot of hell. Is that going to separate us from the love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? Because we catch a whole lot of hell. Because we get ready. We catch a hell now, but more hell to come. Is that going to separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? It says, or distress, being stressed out, losing your job, losing your home, losing your car, losing your wife, losing your family. You see, is that going to separate you from the love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? Persecution, being persecuted for righteousness sake. Is that going to look, look, what does scripture say? If thou, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small, meaning your faith is small. So you do what? You pray for more faith right now. You pray for what? Look, 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 we, we coming. Look, man, we look, we get ready to go home soon, come, man. For real, for real, man. You can feel it, man. 
And, and, and look, and if it takes us to have to lose, lose our life, so called, to receive a crown and to go home, it, it is what it is, man. Straight up, man. And we pray, Abba, Ratazad, that Yahweh, Bashim, shall keep that spirit on us, man. Okay, look, look, what else do we got? What else do we got, Israel? This ain't living. You call this living? Paying this expensive ass rent? You see? Conforming to the ways of the heathens just to get ahead, just to get a bite to eat. GMO foods, your water polluted, the air's polluted. You living in a system, you know what I'm saying? That was set up for you not to get ahead. I mean, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The wicked is ruling the earth right about now. So this ain't living, man. It says, or famine. Going days without food. Is that going to separate you from the love of your how about Shimei I was shy? Or nakedness, you ain't got no clothes? Or peril? Or sword? Which the word sword goes back to destruction. <laughs> when all this death and destruction start raining down upon the face of the earth, is that going to separate us from the love of your how about Shimei I was shy? Look, look, look. Albaratas are not. Lord's will, it don't. It says, as it is written, for thy sake, Yahweh by Shemiah Rashad's sake, right? We are killed all the day long. We die daily, as the scriptures say. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us, man. You see? We're more than conquerors. For I am persuaded. See, one thing about it, you got to be fully persuaded in your own mind. You got to, because look, because your family member, they're not fully persuaded. You know, they got a plan A and a plan B. We only got one plan, and that's plan Yahweh by Shemel Rashad. We ain't got no other plan, okay? We ain't got no other plan. All we got is plan Yahweh by Shemel Rashad, right? This is for I am persuaded that neither death, remember, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. He gonna give you a crown of life, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, no powers. And the principalities goes into them demons, right? Because you know what I'm saying? Look, people getting real doubtful right about that, man. Them demons starting to play in people's minds. You got guys that was once in the truth. They, they ain't in the truth no more, man. It got, it got too rough for them. It got too hard for them. The cares of the world choked them out, right? This is um, no angels, no principalities, no powers, no things present. No, look, look, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shahamashak. Look, that's why we must press forward. Ain't no need of going backwards, man. We might well press, look, look, when it came this far, might well keep it trucking now. Might well keep it going, man. You know, you feeling weak? Pray for more strength. We're at the end of the road now. Look, 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 it's go time now. Look, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai said, Look, it's go time now. It's go time now. Put, uh, put all your strength, all your energy, all your faith towards me and watch me work. See, we're living in a time of miracles, man. And miracles are going to come by way of faith. Through our faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, miracles can be performed, man. You see? Miracles can be performed in an individual that has faith. Let's get this. Second Peter chapter 2 verse 10. Matter of fact, Second Peter chapter 1 verse 10. Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure, man. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Now we're supposed to be making our calling and election sure. So we'll be hitting the highways and byways. Doing these sit down videos, rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our ability. We're supposed to be making our calling and election short. Pretty much letting you how about Shimmy I was shot. No, you know what I'm saying? That we want it, man. That we want it. We're supposed to be diligent. It says make your calling and election short. We'll read it again. Second uh, Peter chapter 1, verse 10. Wherefore the rather brethren, the brothers, give diligence to make your calling and election short. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Now, now once again, I mentioned through the spirit of you have by Shemel Shai in the beginning of this video. Look, this devil gonna come in like a flood, you know? But the Lord said he's gonna lift up a standard, man. This look, Yahweh by Shemel Shai said he's gonna lift up a standard, you know? 
Let's, let's get this. I want to get down a quick little lesson through the spirit of how about Shem Shah Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel, is edified, man. That's what we do these lessons for. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Let's see. Verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither hath entered into the heart of men. The things the most high, the things which the most high Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh had prepared for them that love him, man. All right? For those that love Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh things are, look, look, glorious things. Uh, things that are unspeakable. I look, eyes have not seen. In your wildest dream, you know what I'm saying? You can't even fathom what Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh got prepared for those that love him. You know? This is doing the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh to the best of their ability, man. We have no clue, man. You see? We have no clue. The natural man can't understand what we understand. Look, look, because it ain't, it ain't meant for them. It, it ain't meant for the natural man to understand what we see. But we're going to have to go through some things. I want to go back to, I want to go back to um, Romans, the eighth chapter. I want to jump up, though. Romans chapter eight. Verse 17, and of children did heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So you want to be glorified, you want to get some honor, you want to get some praise, then you got to suffer like Lord Yahweh Shai did. The scriptures tell us in First Peter's um the fourth chapter um verse one. It says it says, Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. The Lord suffered in the flesh. We got to arm ourselves with the same like mine. You see? Let's get this. Salakia. So like I want to get this right quick. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. For the Most High Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. See how, see how, see how many times that word love came out? You see? This work. You know, so you got to love to do this work. This labor. This toiling. You know what I'm saying? We out there on the highways and byways doing the sit down videos, and you re rehearsing the righteous acts throughout the week, not just when the camera on, when the camera off. You be in diligence, right? For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have showed towards His name, and that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. And the word minister means to serve. We're serving our people with this meal, with this word, right? It says, um, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end, because it's about enduring to the end, right? Remember, he that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. You don't, you don't want to start plowing. You don't want to pick up the plow, you know what I'm saying, and then drop the plow and go back into the world, man. You don't want to start building, you know what I'm saying, that's you know, you start building a house and everybody looking at the house, sitting there getting old. You know, you ever walk past a house, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the people couldn't finish they either ran out of money or ran out of materials. You, know, you, you like, what a waste, right? That's just like in this thing of ours. You fall out, what a waste. You would have been better off not even knowing the truth, and we can get that. You would have been better off not knowing the truth, but what it say? We desire, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence. Remember, make your call and election short to the full assurance of hope and to the end. And look, look, that ye be not slothful. Don't be lazy. This is not the time to be lazy. This is time to be getting it in. But followers of them who through faith. That's what it's going to take. Faith, man. And who through faith and patience will have to suffer. Inherit the promises, man. You see? Man, there, there, was, a, there was a heaven right there. The Most High is not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love, man. You see? We gotta, we gotta fight though, man. Look, look, this is time to be fighting now. Let's get this though. Let's get revelation right quick. Cause um, I, I read earlier, you know what I'm saying? Principalities, no angels, no persecution, no tribulation se shall separate us from the love of Yahweh by Shem Shai, right? Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Now we came into this thing to suffer. Look, look, if nobody else don't remind you, remind yourself. We came into this thing to suffer, right? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold the devil, 
the great deceiver, the deceiver, sleazy E, for the devil shall come. It's like it. For the, look, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And we're living in that time. You don't want to go holler at Maxine Waters. You don't want to go holler at Vanessa Williams. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature, LaQuisha, Tanisha. Whatever you, whatever you want to call her, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to go holler her. You don't want to conform to the ways of society. You see? Then the devil is going to cast you into prisons, a.k.a. concentration camps, right? This is that ye may be tried. Gold is tried in the furnace of adversity, right? And ye shall have tribulation. Didn't we just read that? Didn't we just read that? And ye shall have tribulation. We read that in Romans 8 and 35. And ye shall have tribulation. You will catch some hell 10 days, a period of time. Be thou faithful unto death. They're going to wear faith again. Be thou faithful unto death. And I will give thee a crown of life. The Lord said, look, I'm going to give you a crown of life, man. One thing you need to do is be faithful. Let's see if I can find that other. What is it on? Second Ezra. Or is it Sirach? Bear with me. Sirach chapter 4, verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death. And the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh shall fight for thee. Now remember I quoted it earlier, Sirach 2 and 10. Look at one of my favorites. Look at the generations of old. And see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was forsaken? Or confounded? Or whom did he ever despise that call upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion, mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in the time of affliction, because we're being afflicted, and more affliction is coming. But the Lord saveth in the time of affliction, man. I got a couple more scriptures that I want to bring out through the spirit of you have by Shemel Shai. Our power is coming, man. Lord Yahweh Shai is on He's on his way. The Lord is on his way. Remember, look, look. If you lacking anything, you better be praying for it now. You see? Pray for it now. Matter of fact, let's get this, let's get this right quick. Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. Second Ezra chapter 9. Bear with me. Second Ezra chapter 9. Let's see. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed man and we believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai see this is the time this is the time uh, to believe this is the time to have faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai no matter how rocky the road may seem you see you think our forefathers ain't went through this before, man? And look, look, we are our forefathers coming right back. Going through it for the last time. That's the thing about it, man. We have been through this before. That's why Yahweh Bashim is building up our faith, man. You see? That's why the Lord is building up our faith right now, man. You see? Let's get that again. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved. And shall be able to escape by his works and by faith because they go hand in hand faith and works go hand in hand you see um and by faith whereby ye have believed man look look shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning, man. It's spirits on the earth right about now. You see, there's preserved. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be protected until the very end. Until the Lord pop up on the scene, man. Those men are going to be standing firm. Having faith, you know what I'm saying? The faith, you know what I'm saying? They can move mountains, man. That's what you see going on through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Rashad. And the majority of our people heard this word, but it won't mix with faith. That's why they conform it to the ways of this world. You see? Nothing ain't had to pop off for our people that were like, yo, okay, I'm, I'm down with the program. Ain't, ain't nothing popped off yet. You got our people conforming to the ways of this world, man. No, no faith whatsoever, man. But the Lord gave us faith, though we still kicking it. We're still pushing it, man. The Lord said, look, look, I, I'm, I'm the one that's going to give you a crown of life, man. Matter of fact, 
Let's go to second. Uh, what is the first address? Look, bear with me. We're gonna find it. Bear with me. Second Ezra chapter two, verse forty-two. I Ezra saw upon the Mount Sion a great people, whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord Yahweh by Shemiahu with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, Lord Yahweh taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted. Which I marvel that greatly he set crowns upon the heads of the, the foreheads. He set crowns upon the heads of the men that were sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. As we say he marveled at it greatly. He marveled at it greatly, man. He was at awe when he seen the men get crowned. Says, so I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? And he answered and said unto me. These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on immortal, the immortal, and have confessed the name of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Now are they crowned and received palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them some palms in their hands? So he, so he answered and said unto me, it is the son of Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. They didn't deny the Lord, whom they have confessed in the world. Then begin I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Because you know this devil, no saying, gonna try to make us denounce our power. But as we say, he's seen no saying men standing stiffly, standing boldly. They confess the name of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, no matter how rough it got. They can look, look, remember Daniel and Elias did? He confessed the name of his power openly. Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego, all, all the men of the Lord, they confessed the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, openly and boldly, man. And look, look, and those men are back, all right? Jeremiah did the same. They're all, um, you know what I'm saying? The Apostle Peter, everybody, man. Paul, the Apostle Paul. The Apostle John, you, you name it, man. All them confess Matthew, Luke. You, you name it, man. All of them, man. Confess the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh right? Let's see. I'm going to read 47 again. So I answered the sentence. So he answered the sentence to me. It is the son of Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. Then begin I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of our Lord. And you know that's going to take faith sure enough. To stand stiffly in the face of adversity, confessing the names of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Lord, that's going to show enough take faith, man. And we got faith in our power too. Our power about to come back, man. You see? Our power is coming back with vengeance, man. You see? Well, matter of fact, let's get on. Um, what is it? Um... This is my last one. I just want to just bring, you know what I'm saying, um, exhortation. You know, pretty much exhortation. It, it was coming down to the wire now. You know, get ready. Everybody getting their mind prepared for what's coming. We know what's coming. We've been longing for this day though, man. You know, this day has to come, man. It's like um, somebody can put that in, um, in the comment board too. It's like, it's like a man receiving a prize, receiving a gift. But he got to go over the bridge, you know what I'm saying, to receive it. If you know what that scripture, I just roughly paraphrase it, his inheritance. Let's see, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. Now, on, on, on the enemy, isn't the enemy troubling us along with two-thirds of any seasons? To you who are troubled, rest with us within the comfort of man. It tells you in 1 Thessalonians, on the fourth chapter, verse 18, comfort my people with these words, right? Cover my people with these words, right? Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse seven. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When our Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven, that's exactly what we waiting on. We waiting on Lord Yahweh to crack them clouds, man. To crack them clouds, man. You see? It says, um, look, with his mighty angels, and the Lord ain't coming back by himself. He's coming with the heavenly host, man. 
It says, um, in flame and fire, taking vengeance. See, this is what's fastly approaching right here. The Lord coming back with his mighty angels in flame and fire. Doing what, Lord? Doing what again? Taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High. And they obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh, Shahumash, Yah. So you Israelites, two thirds, two thirds. You know what I'm saying? They didn't obey. It was rebellious, was being witches and warlocks and everything up under the sun. It, look, look, you in trouble. You in trouble. The Lord says he's coming back with flames of fire for you, buddy. You know what I'm saying? It says, who shall be punished with the everlasting destruction from the presence of, of the Lord and from the glory of his power? When he shall come to be glorified in his saints, which are the elect, and to be admired in all of them that believe. Remember, it takes faith, man. Okay, the Lord is coming back for the true believers, right? Yeah, look, Yahweh Bashim is coming back for the true believers, right? It says, and to be admired in all of them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. And, you, and look, the Lord said, when you see all these things, I, I, matter of fact, the Lord don't want me to end it yet. Let's get this. Let's end it with this. The Lord said, when you, when you start to see all these things, then you know I'm on my way. You know I'm on my way. Look, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, and when the righteous are on authority, the, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, don't the people mourn? Aren't you mourning right about now? Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligent in itself. And what's the measuring stick? This. Whatever's going on in the earth, you link it up with the Bible, and you know exactly what time it is. You're measuring the time, right? It says, um, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. These people ain't ready for it. Look, look, look. The creator, the creator of the earth is on his way. The entity that actually created the earth is on his way. The entity that actually created us is on his way. You see? Our Lord and Savior, man. You see, remember all things was created for him and by him. The Heavenly Father, you know what I'm saying, created, you know what I'm saying, um, Lord Yahweh Shai, and Lord Yahweh Shai did everything else, man. So you mean to tell me you, you're gonna try to fight against the power that created everything? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? This is um therefore. When there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and then the earthquake just rock Haiti again, a 7.2 with enough other shocks. Matter of fact, what's the earthquake app right about now? Let's get let's get the earthquake app right quick. Let's just see. Bear with me. Seven earthquake. The Lord said, when you, when there should be seen earthquakes in diverse places, right? An earthquake would just happen. What? 36 minutes ago, an earthquake happened. Let's see today. You know what I'm saying? It's late on in the evening or whatever, but let's get this earthquake app. See what's going on. Bear with me, Israel. Bear with me. When there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, you look up that word uproar, you know what I'm saying? It goes into pro protests. You see protests everywhere, man. Let's get um, earthquakes in diverse places right quick, though. Let's see. This phone acting stupid. It's all good, though. You see, bear with me, Israel. All of a sudden, the earthquake app don't want to work. Period. No sense. So we're gonna read on. The Lord said, when you see part of these signs pass, then you know I'm about to come. You got wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, nation against nation. You know I'm saying the love of many waxing cold, people hating the government. You you see the drill. You see where we're going with this, right? This is this shall thou well understand. Look, this is earth wars of the people in the world. You got people everywhere. Fed up, man. How things are being ran. I mean, everywhere people are fed up, right? The Lord said, now this is the time when I'm getting ready to visit this place. That's why we need to be getting our acts together, man. Because the Lord is showing us the tall tale signs of him getting ready to visit this place, right? It says, um, then shall thou well understand that the most I spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, man. And, and look, let's get this precept, St. Luke. Let's get this quick precept. Let's sing Luke chapter 21. Let's see. Sing Luke chapter 21. And let's see.
I go, oh yeah, St. Luke chapter 21, verse uh, 31. So likewise, ye, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that the kingdom of the Most High is nigh at hand, man. And the things that are written the fourth time were written for our learning. The kingdom of Yahweh by Shemel Shai is at hand when you see all these things come to pass. It says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled, man. All right? This generation shall not pass till all things be fulfilled. Oh, look, look. Are you getting ready? Are you getting ready, man? You see? Are you getting ready for what's coming down the pipeline? The Lord say, look, in, in your lifetime, this generation, I'm going to say something and perform it. How the Lord is going to say it? Through his prophets. So let's go back. Second Ezra chapter 8, um, verse 5. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end. You wish you thought this place was going to go on forever, man? Sleazy E is doing, uh, he's performing his last remix, man. You know? He's doing what he got to do because this is it, man. This is it. Look, look, if this was your last time ruling ever, forever and ever and ever and ever, for all eternity, when you make a, when you make a last stance, when you try to do what you got to do to rule for at least one more day, because it's a bound that he can't pass. And when it's time for this devil to go down, he going to go down. He will never rise ever again. Man, woman, or child, they will never rise ever again, man. And this is thus saith the Lord, thus said the Bible, man. This is for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end. And the end is manifest. The Lord is making it known. The word manifest means to make known. The God of the Bible is making it known. So with everything that's coming down the pipeline, look, look, let's pray for more faith. You see? A man shall escape by his faith and by his works, man. Faith and works go hand in hand. Shalom.